After World War I, Berlin, Ontario got a name change to Kitchener, Ontario. And to keep their heritage, the Dune Pioneer Tower was built. Bet you get a nice view from up there. Let's check it out. The Dune Pioneer Tower stands next to a 16th century Mennonite cemetery. Although the cemetery has been here since the 1700s, the tower wasn't built until many years later, in 1925. As a tribute to the Mennonite settlers of the area, the Waterloo County Pioneers Memorial Association built the monument next to the cemetery. The tower was used as a lookout overlooking the Grand River, though it has been closed to the public for many years. You know, it's a real shame it's locked, but um, I would really love to see what's up there, but you know, you can't always get what you want. This is one window though, it keeps freaking me out. I don't know if, this, if it's the sun hitting it in a certain spot, but I keep seeing something moving there and I don't like it. We're uh, here at the tower and I actually don't live far from here, so I knew about this place. I didn't know it was haunted, <laughs> but then again, I guess if any place were to be haunted, it would be the tower that's built right next to an old pioneer cemetery, right? So. People claim to have seen unexplainable lights forming around the graveyard, as well as feeling cold spots. Locals have reported seeing strange mists forming around the tower, and said that they have sensed a lurking presence while they're inside. The Dune Pioneer Tower is more than just a haunting memorial. It's also a place for unique moments. Sharon Murray shares her memories of the Lookout Tower. Years ago, my husband took me to Pioneer Tower. I didn't know that he was actually going to propose that day. June the 27th of 1988, we went to Pioneer Tower. I always thought it was a lovely structure, thought, what's going on? And then found out we could actually go inside. Went up a very rickety staircase. And then uh, my husband says to me, my husband, but didn't know it was going to be fiance in a couple of moments, but uh, would you marry me? And I said yes. There's no denying the beauty of the tower, and no one knows that better than photographer Neil DeBoer. It was something I'd heard about, and I, I like photographing architecture and older buildings and newer buildings, so um, it was something I decided I, I should try to hunt down and, and do. And I thought, well, instead of just a straight picture of, of the tower, I'd try to incorporate it with a sunset. So I kind of timed it with that and found a day that was pending a, a good sunset. Evidently, the Pioneer Memorial Tower is not just another haunted location. Pioneer Tower still stands to this day as a historic landmark in Kitchener. And although it might not be the spookiest place we've been to, it still serves a purpose in reminding us of our heritage in Kitchener. See you next week, everybody.